I'm doing a demo. So some of you may have um, purchased these from us before. On comments sold. On comments sold. Show them that part. Show them this part. First. Well, okay. These Remember are the these baskets products. Remember those cute little baskets? They're a little funky. Here's this one. This one looks more like a regular basket, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, they come on a panel. So on comments sold, I don't know, a month ago, two. maybe two months ago. Time flies. Um, you can buy it in a panel where they have the front and the back. You see that? And it's in three different sizes. And it has the instructions printed too. Yeah, so the instructions are all on there. So what I'm going to do today is actually just kind of walk you through. Oh, there you are, Vicki. <laughs> um, I'm just going to kind of walk you through how I put these together. And I did not sew them up a second time, but I will show you what I would do different that I didn't do the first time. Once right? you've made something. And if you only have one panel and you don't want to have to buy a second one, of course, maybe you do, and they're great little gifts. But... Um, I am going to. And really, you could probably double it up and put like just a solid piece too if you wanted oh, to yeah. get more bowls out of it. Yeah. I don't know. As long, yeah, you really could. You could use the top to trace for the bottom and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to kind of go through how I put them together and then also um, what I would do different. For starters, they need a little more structure than what I have on mine. And then I think they'd be great. So you've got the panel, all right? And you are going to just cut out around the outside edge. Here on this part, you can see, actually, let's just have, let's do this. I keep bumping into a chair. There we go. Okay, so here is the inside of the small bowl and you have these corner pieces here you cut those out and you are actually going to cut those out right here um you can cut them out no yeah i cut every one of them out i mean there if you don't then you end up with a weird flap which some people like but this one's been printed on so i would just cut those all out and then here is the outside of the small one and You'll notice on the one that I made, that was supposed to be the outside, but I kind of liked the print from the inside on the outside. So my inside, I swapped them and it works just fine. So they're nicely you interchanged. Do what you, want. you do what you want all the time. Um, so anyway, so the first thing you do is you wanna cut all of these out. You also want to get some stabilizer on the inside and that's where I would change it up just a little bit. On this, I think we used a heavy cutaway or Oh gosh, what would I don't know? What did she used. hand to me? That I would have used like a kind of soft bond or something. I I recommend now this one is cute and it works great and it's collapsible, right? So that makes it kind of nice and easy to store. I do like that, but I think in order to get all three of these to look the way you want them to, so this one got away with a little bit of um, softer stabilizer. This one right here. I just turn it up just a little bit. This one right here, it has a different shape and it has these really extra big sides. Well, and and you tried to do a French seam, right? I did. I did. I did. So I she put it to overthink it. <laughs> I put it together and it was way too floppy. And so what I actually did on this one was sew it up and then I flipped it around and, and did a French seam. But I'll I'll go into all of that. Anyway, this is less stable. And so there's like Peltex is a really nice hard one. I almost think too soft and stable. I don't, this doesn't feel like Peltex. Is that what you No, mean? this is not Peltex. Okay. No, I'm suggesting that you get something like Peltex yeah. or maybe a soft and stable. If you do get soft and stable. Would you quilt it? I would cut your sides a little bit. I would cut your pieces just a little bit over. Um, and yeah, I think that quilting it would be a good idea if you had it on the soft and stable. So I think my first choice would be the, the Peltex. Yeah, that's um, what I would do. You can kind of see on this one, this is the large one and I haven't made this one yet. This, I've lined it both sides. And so there is double, but that just feels like a medium to heavy tear away. That doesn't even like, yeah. Like it's like not, maybe not even heavy, right? Like, yeah, no, that's a medium. I, I, uh, I cannot remember, basically, Someone said, I really don't want to make these. 
here, Carly, so will you make these? And handed me everything they had put that together for That someone's name is Kyle. <laughs> she didn't want to do them. So I just kind of took what she had with it and, and ran with it. So we learn, we live, we learn. Um, but anyway, so that's what I would do a stabilizer. De Deco Bond, Peltex, something stiff. Something yeah if you want to stiff. use a soft and stable do that but i would quilt it before you start sewing it together. yeah and you don't have to do if you're going to do soft and stable you don't have to do like a whole bunch of quilting you could just do lines if you wanted to inside here or you know get fancy mm -hmm. if you want to this would be a great Outline learn how it. to free motion if you wanted to get crazy although free motion would might be really hard on soft and stable yeah <laughs> don't 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 listen to me i didn't say that are you okay yes i am do i seem like i'm stressed am i talking too fast you're talking really fast okay so we have cut out all of our pieces like this, okay? And you have the stabilizer on the inside and the top and the bottom. And what I wanted to do first was connect these by sewing around this inside. Basically, that's where the base of the bowl is going to be. So I just took a, I used um machine thread. embroidery thread because it was a little shinier and could be a little more decorative and then i just took a zigzag stitch really tight not quite a satin stitch and did that all the way around to keep it stable okay now the next thing that you would do then is take these two edges now do I want that one to be the inside or the outside? Yeah, you got to decide which remember. one you want in or out. The outside one on this one is this. Is You can just look right here, dear. How do you know? Oh, I don't know. It's inside. Just This this is the outside and that's the inside. Okay. <laughs> so, I needed to flip it. I thought you so were just you looking were right. for the the fabric and I was like it's right here. Oh yeah, no, you got It looks it. like this. Yes, you've got it's it. Right here. You've got it. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to cut out each piece. And it looks like you actually didn't cut to the line there. I did not cut to the line. So can you see that? Thank you for bringing that up. When you go to cut this, I actually cut a quarter of an inch, mm, less than a quarter of an inch. But here, if you're cutting, I am going to give myself a seam allowance. Does it say this in the instructions? Right through there. Yes, it does. Okay. You didn't just make this up. And well, think, this might be fun. Well, it's been a few. I'm like, it's been a couple of weeks since I did this last, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to you want to cut and you could I did smaller ones. You could do a little bit larger. It says a quarter of an inch, but you want to seam allowance away from that black line right there so that when you go to sew it together, you're not losing any part of the bowl. So they kiss. They kiss. Yes. So once you've got that all cut out, now they're going to each look a little bit different because they have different shapes, but it's the same concept on all three bowls. Okay. You're going to take and put these two pieces together. This is where something where like binding clips would come uh, in handy. For sure. Or those magnet things. Those magnetites. Those sew tights. Yes. So you're going to take and those just will hold it with, and stay out of your way. Um, which is nice. I used definitely clips on this mm -hmm. because pins, especially if you're using something tighter, you would definitely want some kind of a clip. But what thing I'm saying going is, you could do the magnets here. And oh, it would for hold sure. It while you're sewing. In your way. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for those of you who know about those those really strong magnetites or sew tights, I mean the magnet magnets, that would be perfect for a project like this. So I'm going to make sure that all layers are lined up together. They shift just a tiny bit, but not bad because you've already sewn the pieces together and you just want to make sure those get nice and lined up. And then starting down here where that point is, you're going to sew all the way up on this side. And then you're going to come over here and repeat the same process, put those together. Now, once you get all of that done, you're gonna have a raw edge showing on the outside right there. There's a few different things that you can do to get rid of that raw edge. Um, you could, if you wanted to, use bias tape and just have it come from here and just sew it on. Or the way that I did it was I used a satin stitch on the machine and just, um, and, and because of I would do that part a little bit different as well. 
But here, here were all my raw edges. And so I just took a satin stitch. What does the instructions tell you to do? The instructions talk about the satin stitch okay. or doing some kind of a stitch on here. So you're going to go ahead and sew up the side. Just remember that, um, you know, maybe I would have gone without, I wanted the blue, but maybe in retrospect, I would have done white because you can kind of see the white coming through um, from the fabric and you wouldn't, it would look a little tighter and neat, neater if you did, is that a word, neater? <laughs> it would look neater if you um, used the same color thread, maybe neater, that neater, white, neater. right? <laughs> and then once you've got that done, you are gonna look inside and, it, and you don't see any of the seams on the inside. Now you've covered up that raw edge on the outside and now you're going to go all the way around the top with another satin stitch. And I've never done a satin stitch on my sewing machine, so how does that work? So to get a satin stitch on your sewing machine, um, you are going to go into your zigzag. Okay. And you want to make your zigzag as short as possible. Now, different machines are different ways. And by short, do you mean the width or the length? Sorry, you're gonna adjust the width, but you're, gonna, you're talking length. So you wanna shorten the length all the way Okay, all the way up. Now, depending on your machine, I know Janome's are different than Baby Lock. Um, Baby Lock, you can do a really tight, um, basically Janome's will go even tighter. They'll even go shorter than some of those other ones. And so when you get a satin stitch on a Janome, it doesn't move. Like hmm. you have to kind of bring up that length just a little bit. So don't take your length all the way down to zero. You do wanna have some kind of a length because you wanna be able to get your machine to actually move and and go along the edge. So play around with it before you do it. And then just take it nice and easy and go right across the top. And when you do that satin stitch, you, you want the one, um, when the needle goes over to the left side, you want it to go into the fabric, but when it hits over to the right side, as it goes back and forth and does the zigzag, you kind of want it to hit just on the outside edge of the fabric. So it kind of creates this wrap around the top. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. And Robin's saying you can use a fabric marker on your satin stitch to cover up the white thread oh, too. Oh, I am totally doing that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that is one way that you can you can do that. Just take the satin stitch nice and slow. Um, there's other things that you can do. Jenny even mentioned possibly doing like a little a little binding or something, kind of a binded edge I that you could do. Would work but the that. corners, you'd have to get a little bit um, you could even take ribbon if you wanted to, and you can tie cute little bows at go. the edges of your corners. But um, this is where I have to tell Carolisa, don't overthink it. Don't overthink. Just don't do overthink it. it. Oh my goodness, it could be like this. And what about this? And I'm going to remake this because I don't like how I did it, and I want to. And I was like, just don't. don't. <laughs> I was going to remake these so I could there's show you what they look like hours a little in bit. The day. No, there's not. Now, so one of you mentioned a French seam. Okay, um, if you had a serger, this is. I oh. wish I wish I had a serger to do this. Yeah, Sue said you could do I a roll. I absolutely hem. would do a serger across this. So if you have a serger, do that first. And you know how to set your old hem? You do. I don't. Oh yeah. I have the serger, you don't, but you know how to use it. I, I know, don't. it's true. It's really easy if you have a baby lock. You make a couple of adjustments. I'll just come over and show you how to do it, but then you just have to let me use your serger. How's That's that? Fine. Um I anyway. Have three colors. Oh, that works. That works. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, if you have a rolled edge on your serger, that would be my option number one. If you have a sewing machine, you really can make that look pretty good. I was in a little bit of a hurry when I did these. So I'm... Did you wait until the last day to get done? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> never. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, it might be a little too heavy for a, for a rolled ham on the top of that. Yeah, I would say depending the, on what you, she used would be fine. You could totally do it if you didn't use a really heavy, if you wanted it to be kind of flexible like this, you could get a rolled ham out of that and just create a nice corner when you do it. Honestly, for the corner purpose to get a nice little corner like that, that's not rounded out, um, I would use the serger or I would go with the satin stitch. Now on the second one that I did, it, like I said, it was floppy and this did not turn out like I think it was meant to turn out. And it's just because it was a little too, hey. Yet. I just look like I'm wearing a piece of paper. I feel like I work it in and out with this thing. In and out? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. This one, when I got to going with it, I was not happy because it was just a little too floppy. So to try and bring it in a little bit, I actually did a French seam. So for those of you who think maybe a French seam might be a good idea, it, it works great. It really does. So you could do a French seam too. So on French seam, basically you're going to take this raw edge right here and you're going to do it backwards. You're going to do it the other direction. You want the seam to be on the inside of the bowl. So you're going to turn it the other direction so that when you're looking at the bowl, it has the seam on the inside. And then you, so let's just pretend that this is the inside of the bowl because technically it's you supposed to it. be, right? So I have all of my seams on the inside here. Then to get a French seam, you're just going to come along here, fold that down and just sew from the bottom all the way up to the top. And that would like work that. better with a light, lighter weight. I wouldn't recommend that with the Peltex. No, or the no. If you're doing something stable. that's a little bit, the soft and stable, it just won't work. But if you're using something a little less, um, then when you go to look at the inside, like for instance, on this one, you don't see the seam and then you don't really see my seam on the outside either. So, and I didn't go all the way down. I was kind of guessing how this would work. So a French seam will work. You just want to make sure you're not using an extra stiff um, stabilizer. Teresa says you look like Audrey Hepburn. Yes, she does. <laughs> anyway, and then you've got, you've got, you've got the same kind of concept on the big one. And, I, and yes, I did do um, this little stitch on the inside to tack everything down. But then you're also, and follow the instructions because the instructions will tell you which one to stitch first. And I believe you stitch the side first and then this, and then this last. So on the base of the bowl, you are also- That would make sense because doing, you wanna catch both of these. Yeah. Here and here. Here and here. So you have, I, I mentioned that we stitched it down to begin with just because it makes it easier to line everything up and it stays where it needs to be. But then when you're done with that, you do want to go back through with the same technique that you're using. Um, in this case, the um, rolled stitch or satin stitch. satin stitch. It would be a rolled hem on your serger. Um, and with a serger, this might be a little bit trickier, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do it on a serger either. I mean, it would be just as tricky as the sewing machine. You just don't want to cut off the other side. So anyway and then you're done what would you use Ta -da. what would you do with a bowl like that um i don't know um Brian, she works in customer service she has one that's kind of like this one it's not kitchen flowers or anything like that but she puts her hair stuff in it that would work you know nice anything nice catch-all for like sewing i would say i would probably gift this with some like garden produce or oh that would be cute if you're a baker and you like to make bread or you know isn't that a joke that everyone just like drops zucchini off at people's houses around? <laughs> I probably put some zucchini in this so they wouldn't be so mad at me for leaving them zucchini. Uh, right? Give I got my first cute. one. Today. You got a zucchini? Yeah. We couldn't get our so zucchini cute. planted. Yeah, well, you I'll could round the corners, Marsha. Marsha said you could round the corners before um, surging. Here I'm a little late to the game. She said that about five minutes ago. What's your <laughs> point, Jenny? <laughs> My point is we're talking about something and you go back to something else. That's what I do best. I know. That's um, what but I do yes, best. I think this would be cute. Or like if you have apples, an apple tree. Um, Pay it so forward a little bit. This right? may be kind of weird, but I think that the sewn fruit is really cute. Oh, yeah. That's really, that's really nice and tight. I think this would just be cute with some cute You know little... what's kind of cute is this doubled up. I can't. There we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gives it a little more stability. They all stack. Um, I am like, I always have something in my kitchen that's catching stuff. Right now it's a basket. They're just bright and cheery too. Yeah, they are. I like the mosaic. Has that cute little gingham on this one. With I'm a fan of these kinds of prints. It reminds me of Spain. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been to Spain a couple times. I've never been to Spain. This is very much like the tiles in Spain. But I kind of like the music. I know. It rains. What is that, Audrey Hepburn? No. My it's, Fair Lady. It's not My Fair Lady. I'm quoting a song. Oh, there's a song about Spain in My Fair Lady. Well, there's a song about, it's called I've Never Been to Spain from Three Dog Night. Come on, you ladies know what I'm talking about, right? You can plant zucchini now. Um, that's good to know. It's too hot. 
It's so hot. That's okay. We just planted corn. <laughs> Deanna gave us some little stalks from her um, thinning out. So oh, we're trying cute. to keep some corn alive. Hey, Larry's in the house. Yeah, here you go. Anyway, um, does anyone have any questions? It's pretty self-explanatory. They're fun. I think they make great little gifts. Mm 